Good morning, people. This is Christian. It's Saturday morning here in Sweden, and I want to share the workflow for uh, my January 2022 challenge. I think most of you have gotten this basically correct, and it's nothing fancy, just a fun thing. I like these odd geometry things. So this is a tetrahedron uh, with uh, four sides. Every side is equilateral triangle, and then we add in some fillets. The drawing is here, as shared in the earlier video. Uh, I by design moved the tetrahedron slightly uh, different here from from how I design it as I like to make people confused uh, 50 millimeter height from bottom of flat face or from one face to the fillet up here and the fillet is three millimeters so let's just start designing and start explaining we're gonna start by creating the tetrahedron so we have something to move around and play around with so we're gonna start create a sketch Remember to save, and if you want to create a component, if that's what you want to do, let's do this from the front, like this. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use polygons. I need a triangle using the origin points, I'll lock down things, tab over, we need three sides. The triangle has three sides. Constrain this horizontally or vertically, horizontally, vertically. Uh, mark everything I need this to be construction geometry, like that. So this is not the triangle I'll be using, this is for me, help me get the dimensions. I will later do a triangle on the uh, bottom plane uh, for the, the model, but this is so I can get the dimensions correctly. We do a line from here, this is a vertex, straight up, and down to the center point of the tetrahedron. And we're gonna stop the command. Of course, I always forget these two lines also, I like those to be construction lines, so I don't get confused what I use. Horizontal vertical constraint here, and now the thing is, we have not constrained this. This is an edge of a tetrahedron, and these triangles also edges, so we're going to make them equal. And for now, we're going to do a, a dimension of a height. This is, of course, the wrong height. This is a full height. Just I want the dimension in here. So we're going to do, let's name it, height 50 millimeters, as in the drawing. You have a drawing. 50 millimeters in height and we're going to finish sketch so now we've done a sketch on the front plane like that we need a turn on origin so you can see oops sorry turn it on uh, you can see it's made from the front now we need the triangle on our bottom plane or from top view create sketch on this plane turn off the region for now we open up our sketch browser we will do a projection uh, this corner here or this full line in whatever you want. We need this point out here. We're going to create a polygon. Circumscribe, use the, the midpoint or origin point once again. Tap over, type 3. We need a triangle and coincident constraint between one vertex of triangle and this point here. Going to finish sketch. We're going to hit S on the keyboard for search and yes we can go up in the menu spot like the S and the loft. We look for loft command. Going to use the solid, that's a blue one triangle up to this point sharp connection everything is good we hit ok by this we have our basic tetrahedron we can check uh, inspection this sign here and here we get 1623 points yes they have the same area so this is totally correct so with this done we're gonna do our fillet F on the keyboard very simple start fillet just do a window select of all the faces like that and we're going to do this. I'm going to use the parameter again because I'm going to need this number twice. So we're going to do fillet uh, R, whatever you want to name it to. And from the drawing, it was three millimeters. Hit OK. And by that, we have created a, a part. But of course, it's the wrong dimension because, as we remember, I'm going to do show dimensions. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, uh, it was 50 millimeter, but that was wrong because it's going to be 50 millimeters up here. But I did this to have a look. If you look from here, and we go back and forth from our filler command, the problem is that uh, we cannot use this line. This is the edge line, and when we apply the fillet, it moves inwards. But there's something that doesn't move, and that is the location of the faces. The faces will stay the same uh, distance from the uh, center point of this. Not the center point down here, but the center point of the 3D polyhedron inside, or polygon. Uh, polyhedron, its name, yeah. So, uh, we're going to edit our first sketch. We're going to add a line, so it's a bit more visible from midpoint here up to here. 
gonna finish sketch once again go back to our model look from the front you can see I made the line here if we look from the front and we apply the fillet by moving the timeline you can see we move away from the edge but we do not move away from the face so we can use that fire dimension go back here we can use this so the fillet will be tangent to this face here and I said a tangent fillet and rolling ball in uh, the verticus so we can do a circle here do it out to here and make sure we get the tangent constraint we dimension this circle got here and now right click select radius and I don't need to do any math and I use the parameter I created earlier fillet R like that so if you finish your sketch and have a look you can see that this circle just created f uh, lines up with this so this is before the fillet this is after the fillet but of course we are dimensioning the height wrong now so let's go back to our first sketch again this is a lot of jumping back and forth remove this uh, D for dimension once again, right click, select, pick a uh, circle arc tangent up here, our point down here, and as you can see, we are now dimensioning from uh, the bottom of the model up to the tangent of the fillet, and that should be our height. Like that, we're gonna finish sketch, and we can see our body now is complying to this. So we can open our bodies, right click and select properties and we get a volume of 36,425 point, a lot of numbers or 36,426. Uh, there are some other ways to do this, so you should end up somewhere near this. And of course, we can now check if we're going to modify, open up, change parameters, we get our two parameters we used up here. Gonna hide that for now, and we can now change. Let's see. I want to make it 100 meter, 100 meters high. This works. I can make the fillet 20. Will that crash? It did not. So we can now play around with this and do whatever we want. Always try to make your models parametric so that you can change the dimension without crashing everything. And of course, if we put in uh, dimensions that doesn't work together, the model will crash. But anyway, with that said, take care. See you around, and goodbye.